All right, number 10 of the practice problems for Praxis 5165. This problem feels a little bit easy relative to some of the other ones we've done. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Basic idea is we're told that we're modeling the population of rabbits with this exponential function, 250 times 3.04 raised up to the t over 1.98, where t represents years into the future. And I guess that part is pretty important, that t represents years into the future, but in all the answers, they give the answers in terms of months. That's just kind of annoying. It's not necessarily hard, but in the pressure of the test, you might miss that. So when they talk about every four months, think about t equals four twelfths or one third years. Whereas if it's six months, t is equal to one half. 36 months, t is equal to three. And 24 months, t is equal to two. So maybe not a bad idea to do that conversion right off the bat. Anyways, what the question asks is, according to this model, which of the following best describes how the rabbit population changed in the area? So the fact that it's talking about changing kind of implies we want to know what the initial population is. In other words, how many rabbits are there at time zero? If you've got a calculator, so you could just plug in numbers, but really you don't need to, because when t equals zero, zero divided by 1.98 is zero, and 3.04 to the zero power is equal to one. That's a pretty important fact, that any number raised up to the zero power is equal to one. And if you're really nitpicky, you might argue that technically zero to the zero power is not equal to one, it's undefined. But that's not a case you're gonna run into on this test. If you really want me to be precise, any non-zero constant raised up to the zero power is equal to one. So for example, 3.04 raised up to the zero power is equal to one. So when I talk about the population at time zero, well, it's just 250 times one, it's just 250. More generally, when you have exponential functions like this, your y-intercept, aka the initial amount, is given as part of the function. Anyways, if we didn't want to think too deeply about this, could just pull out a calculator and calculate p of one-third, p of one-half, p of three, and p of two. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that because there's a couple tricks you can do to sort of shortcut things. I mean, you could actually type in 250 times 3.04 raised up to some power. That power has one-third up on the top of the fraction and it's got 1.98 down on the bottom of the fraction. Hit enter and it spits out a number, 301, give or take. Our population started out at 250 and after four months, one third of a year, it's up to 301. Did it just double? Hell no, it didn't, so that ain't the right answer. You could then go back into your calculator and rather than copy this entire expression again, if you hit second and then enter, it pulls up the most recent entry and then you just go up and edit it. Instead of one third, I want a one half in this position. So I'll put a T there, hit enter, and it spits out 331. 331, is that triple 250? No, triple 250 would be like 750. This is certainly not the right answer either. You can do the same thing with three and with two. Second entry, change one half into three. I'm gonna write it as three over one, so I don't have to delete any spaces or anything. Hit enter, it spits out 1347. Is that double 250? Nope. So this ain't my answer either. I bet it's gonna end up being D. Let's make sure that works. Second, enter, pull up the most recent entry. Instead of three over one, let's make it two over one. Hit enter, and we get a number pretty close to 750. Why is it relevant that it's close to 750? Because part D says it triples every 24 months. Three times 250 is 750. This sure looks like the right answer. And that's a fairly quick way you could get that answer. I think that if you were going the calculator method, you could actually be a little bit quicker. Instead of typing this expression in and editing it every time, you could graph the function. 250 times 3.04 raised up to the, and then I'll do my variable divided by 1.98. Close the parentheses if you feel like it. The advantage to doing this is now it kind of shows the value for all different values of t. Remember the graph defaults to showing x values between negative 10 and positive 10 and y values between negative 10 and positive 10. So you could change the zoom so you can see more stuff. But I don't even think you need to. If you hit the trace key here and hit two, it'll show you the y coordinate when x equals two. Even if it doesn't show up on the graph, it says y is this 768, the value we got down here. So if you graph the function and then just use the trace function and type in two or three, when x equals three, we get the 1347 or one half, there's the 331 or one third, you can check the answers a little bit quicker. Saves you, I don't know, 30 seconds or something, but I guess every second helps. Those are two fairly easy ways to solve this problem. I don't know what it really tests if you solve it that way. It's not clever, it's not interesting, but it gets you the right answer fairly quickly. The only thing I wanna add before ending this video is it would be possible to answer this question without doing any of these calculations at all. If you sort of think about how exponential functions work, 
We already talked about how this 250 is my y-intercept, my kind of initial amount. And then the idea is every time my exponent increases by one, that initial amount, the 250, gets multiplied by 3.04. Wait, 3.04, that's damn near three. So each time this exponent increases by one, my population is gonna triple, right? It's gonna get multiplied by three. So how do I increase this exponent by one? If it starts out at zero, how do I make it one? Well, if t is 1.98, then this would be equal to 1. 1 1.98, that's really close to 2. Right. In theory, you could look at this problem and recognize that when t equals 2, your exponent is more or less 1. So your rabbit population is going to be more or less 250 times this base here, which is roughly 3. The rabbit population is going to triple every 24 months. To make sure that makes sense, if the function were instead, I don't know, 100 times 4.99, raised up to the t divided by 3.03 .03? sure could you come up with a statement kind of similar to these guys talking about what happens to the rabbit population just by looking at this can you tell that the rabbit population starts out at 100 my initial population and gets multiplied by damn near five each time this exponent increases by one the exponent's going to increase by one when t is roughly equal to three so i could say something like the rabbit population increases fivefold approximately every three years or 36 months. All right, that's enough with this problem.